and the leading marksman in the league. Can he add to his total today on EA TV? And hello from the English Midlands. This is the scene at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Aston Villa taking on Liverpool. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Lovely to be here. I can't wait for this one. A nice quick tempo from both sides will be ideal for me. Let's hope we get that. Should be a great game. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Keita could go ahead. Terrific block there. Henderson. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Joel Matty plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah out wide. He just needs to stay level-headed there. Gets his glove on it. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. News coming through of a goal in the Legion. I must admit, I thought he was going to score with that header. Yeah, it was a quality cross and he gets up well and it's just wide. Alexander-Arnold. Well, as you can see, Liverpool come into today's game leading the league in goals four. It's hard to stop them, Lee. Well, Derek, everything we do on a football pitch is all based around goals. Keeping them out, that was my job, a bit boring, I'll give you that. And scoring them. And boy, the top scorers, they very rarely let you down. I'm sure we're in for a load more today. Should be a goal fest. Precise ball movement. And he's found a bit of daylight. He's foiled them on his own. Well, Alan McAnally was in full flow. Unfortunately, we had to cut him off just moments ago. Just to confirm, West Ham did find the net in that game. And it's now even Steven, 1-1. He's in behind. That's a very impressive piece of defending. Ollie Watkins and giving it away. No doubt about it, many people have been wondering about James Milner ahead of this game. There are many who believe that this will be his final season, that he's on the verge of retiring, Lee. Well, it will be a huge gap to fill if the rumours are right. Retirement's just around the corner, you feel. He's been such a class act and he's still a key member of this team. El Mohamedi. Getting news of a goal in the Everton game, Alan. It's a goal for Newcastle United. 32 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers again, Alan. Here's Burigo. It's with Nakamba. John McGinn. Doughty defending to win the ball back. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Ollie Watkins. Good use of advantage by the referee. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Uh, can he put them in front? No worries for the keeper. Salah. It's with Roberto Firmino. It's a weighted pass. And the flag has gone up, offside. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Oh, a fine block. Corner kick played in. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Matip Firmino and the referee blows his whistle for half
as anticipated plenty of talking points so far and now the second half is underway Naby Keita Henderson giving the ball to the opposition that time Matt Target just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Aston Villa facing Southampton. Yeah, Derek, it should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. Liverpool have given it away. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Oh, a vital interception. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Matt Target. Marvellous Nakamba. McGinn. Ollie Watkins. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Mane. And now Henderson. And offside it is. Substitution for Liverpool. Substitution then. The Let's see how it affects the number match. Two, Fabinho. Coming onto the pitch. Number six, Thiago. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Liverpool facing Fulham. Yeah, atmospheres make games, Derek. And that should be an absolute belter. Here's Burigo. Marvellous Nakamba. Credit to them for winning back possession. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Can he give them the lead? Just couldn't get it through. Firmino. One block after another. Deflected behind. Corner forthcoming. So a personnel change then. And he's fired over the corner. Just too close to the goalkeeper in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, poor technique really, and the goalkeeper's not troubled. El Mohamedi. 15 minutes remaining. Wesley. An attack full of promise. Effective challenge. Let's join Alan McAnally because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Leeds United match. Alan. It's a second goal for West Ham United. It's been scored by Sebastian Haller. The defender was trying to play out of defence and gave the ball away, leaving only the keeper to beat. 78 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. How can they nudge in front late on here? Possession and patience, the watchwords. Naby Keita. And breaking at pace with Menace. And he just let his opponent glide by. Sadio Mane in the middle. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Time for a change then. Well, all in all, it's been a struggle for Mohamed Salah to make his presence felt today, Lee. Well, as we can see with the movement he showed today, I think I could mark him and I'm 55. Too much waving of arms and blaming of others. His team needs a winner and he's their main man. Wesley. And a fine tackle. One minute remaining. So two minutes to be added on at the end. And here come Liverpool. A goal at this late stage might settle things. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Wesley. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. Read it well. What can he do from here? Takes it! 
This is why we adore this game. Late. And there goes the final whistle. Not what Liverpool fans anywhere wanted to see. It's a defeat.